Hey everyone, this is Joe Martin with 360 Works. Today I wanted to talk about some advanced configuration tips you can use when you're integrating Zulu into your own FileMaker solution. One thing I wanted to show you how to take advantage of today is the FMP URL scheme or protocol. Essentially, you can use a URL that has the protocol FMP followed by your IP address, your database name, any script you want to run, and any parameters you want to pass to that script. Right now, I'm actually looking at the iSolutions write-up of the FMP URL scheme, and I think they do a pretty good job of outlining how you can use it. Um, FileMaker also has some, some documentation on how to set this up. But what's really nice about it is you can give people a URL which will automatically open their FileMaker database and run a certain script with the parameter. Now that has tons of uses. And the one I wanted to show you today was, was how we could use that inside your calendar for events that you have. Um, let's take a look at FileMaker. And let's just say that, you know, I, I've built a database for, uh, for a, veterinary, a veterinary clinic. Um, so I've got a number of patients, I have their patient history, uh, you know, their, their name, their, their gender, what type of breed they are, basically all the information I'm going to need about this animal, um, information that I'm going to want before I have to talk to the owner and, and, and sort of tell them what I think the next step should be, or, you know, what we're, what we're following up on from last time. So... I've, uh, I've actually already integrated this database with Zulu, um, and we have some documentation videos on how to do it. It's, it's pretty simple. You just, you're just going to import these two tables, Zulu Calendar List and Zulu Sample Events. Um, in fact, you don't really even need to use Zulu Sample Events. Uh, I just did for, for ease of use. Um, so I've got this all set up. I'm subscribed to the calendar. And here I am in Apple Calendar, kind of looking at the, the events I have in, in, um, in, in my FileMaker database. These are, you know, in, in this example, these are going to be the, the appointments for these patients I have. Uh, so one really cool thing, let, let's, let's take a look at this event right here. In the note, you'll see I have a URL. And you might notice this, has, this is actually an FMP URL. So I'm, I'm, uh, this, this should open the pet wellness database and run the script show patient with the parameter of the, the patient's ID. So watch what happens when I click this. I'm actually going to open up the database and I'm going to jump to this patient's record so I can view all the details I need about this patient to sort of make better decisions or just come to the client with, with more information from the get-go, which I think you know would, would be pretty impressive if I was a client. So, um, and if I look at these, these, other, these other events here, you know, I can really get a sense of, of how my day is gonna, is gonna you know, unfold. We've got Mika at 7 a.m. for a senior wellness checkup. Let's see, well, we don't have much history on, on uh, Mika, but we are waiting on lab results to discuss with the patient on a follow-up visit. So, uh, you know, those would probably be in another section of the database, which I, don't, which I haven't had built out yet. But, but you could see how you could drill to that information from here. Following that, we have FIFA at 10 a.m., And let me just refresh my calendar here to get these changes down. So let's go take a look. And there's FIFA. Um, so, right, you know, we had a new patient intake follow up, uh, looked good. Um, not much to do there, so should be an easy appointment. Um, if we wanted to get an outlook on tomorrow, you know, as you can probably imagine, we can click these and we can see Gilly. I just want to show you guys cute pet pictures, uh, but no. Uh, so so let's uh, let's 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 move on and show you how these these links are being generated. So I'm going to come to my Zulu sample events layout, and here's here's the note uh, that we're that we're storing in the calendar event, um, and uh, you can see we're following the FMP URL protocol. 
just to give you an idea of how you might generate that, I have my events table linked to my patients table via this relationship. So I have the ID of the patient stored in my events table. Now that's going to let me uh, create a calculation that will automatically derive this URL as soon as I link up this event to the right patient. And um, just to show you how that might look, I'll, I'm gonna come to my Zulu sample events table. There's my, the ID of my patient. What I'm looking for is the note field. And you can see I've got an auto enter calculation on here. So let's take a look at that. Um, well, and there's the, there's the patient history line. That's just the first line to sort of let you know what this link is gonna take you to. And then here's the start of the URL. We're gonna start it off with FMP colon slash slash, and then I'm doing get host IP address so that we can just sort of automatically determine the IP address of where this database is hosted. Uh, and then we're gonna follow that with a forward slash. And now we need the database name. So get file name is also a nice dynamic way of doing that. Uh, so now we should have a URL that looks something like um, fmp colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 slash pet wellness. Now we need to add in, uh, we want to specify a script that we want to run. The script we want to run in this case is show patient. I'll show you that script in one second. And the parameter we want to pass into it is the, you know, the the ID of the patient. So that's that's where this comes, that's where this field comes in handy. because uh, we're storing the ID of the patient in the events table. So with that done, let me cancel out of this. Um uh uh, let me, let me uh, first of all, let me show you that show patient script. It's really simple. We just, you know, the, the, the ID of the patient comes in as a raw script parameter. So we set that to a variable. We go to the patient details layout, enter find mode, set the primary key of the patient to the ID that we got as our script parameter, and we perform a find. Very, very basic stuff. Um, so, so uh, now that we have now now that we've set up our auto enter calculations, so that this this will just automatically um, you know populate with the URL we want. Let's go ahead and, and create a new record. Let's say this is for Mika, and we're just gonna call this a follow up. We'll say it's it's gonna be on the twelfth from you know two p.m. to three p.m. Um, and now I'm going to link this record up to Mika and there you go. We've automatically generated the URL. So let's go back to calendar and, and watch this come in. Um, sometimes uh, you need to actually refresh these calendars to get them to show up. Apple calendar usually does this once every 10 minutes, but I want to force it, force it uh, to refresh immediately. And then you can see we got a we got a follow up for Mike. I need to work on my typing apparently. Um, and there's our patient history right there. So we can go ahead and click on this, and what do you know? There's Mika. Uh, and this is I think this has just been a so it's a pretty basic example of of what we can do with with the FMP URLs in Zulu. You, you could extend this, you know, as you can imagine, you can run a FileMaker script. So from there, the door is wide open for you to pursue any sort of workflow you want and incorporate that with Zulu so that you can view these records and these details in a nice calendar, a nice calendar view, along with being able to really drill into these events and see what they're related to, who they're, who they're for, you know, get extra details about your whole day. Um, and this is, I think this is also a really, this, this adds a lot of functionality to Apple Calendar itself because the, the, the field choices here are fairly limited. 
um, we don't we we can't fit a patient history in here, or at least not in a sensible way. So and this 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 gives us the opportunity to do that. Um, and I know I've been focused on Apple Calendar this whole time, but rest assured, this will work identically in Google or Exchange. Um, the all of these fields, you know, note and you know start date end date and summary these are all shared between apple calendar and google in terms of what zulu syncs